left them hanging in the junkyard. So there's nothing hidden about these traps. The idea is that the woodchuck's too lazy to go around. He's just going to take the easiest path and trip the trap. It's going to kill him on contact. In life, unbelievers don't see the trap set by the enemy. Then when you become a believer, it's this obvious. You can see the trap. It's that obvious. The good news is, is Jesus can save you from that trap. Repent, lest you not see the trap and perish on impact. Seek him and you will see. set a trap. These vertical holes, they're usually like secondary escape routes or breather holes that woodchucks will dig and they're hard to set traps. Just trying to figure out which way he uses it more. Probably that way, but I'm going to try to set it like that. I think this one got ran over. It's a little bent up. Most of the time, rabbits can skip right through and not set off your trap, but he must have bumped it. Moving this trap.
fresh digging. He Good stuck sound. his head out. You saw him poke his head out? Mm. Excellent hunting champ. Doesn't this look like a fresh hole too? He probably doesn't have any escape boots yet. Nice view from up here on this hill. I like the enemy encourages non-believers to go through his trap. Just want to guide this woodchuck to go through the trap and make all the other options look not good. That's enough encouragement. No sign. Another day without anything, I'll probably move this track. Let's go see what we got. Something was here. My thought is, is that we may have... We may have bumped it removed it when he was caught so that we could hit this wire. And then spring, right? We might be able to get him there. Hopefully we get something. This usually happens to me once or twice a year. I forget to take my safeties off. My little safety hooks were still hooked. So when it sprung, we didn't catch anything. I could blame this one on my brother because he came and visited us when we saw this one, but I won't. I won't. I got distracted on my own account. I don't know if he'll come back to this one or not. Might not, but I might reset it. If I don't catch him tomorrow, then I'll move it again. The most promising trap. And I missed it. All right, let's try again. I think it's ready. So far, it's been a little bit disappointing. Sprung traps, safety's still on. It's usually a little bumpy starting, but normally I get a witch up by now. But we have a couple more traps to check, so we'll see. Chuck, I'm sure, sees the trap, but he doesn't perceive the danger. He thinks he can make it through to the other side in his own way, in his own time. 
Might be another one in there, I don't, I don't know if there will be or not. I see the other team on them. Gotta be careful with these things. I made the trap. Smart enough to go around the trap. I'm just gonna try and block it off to discourage it from happening again. It doesn't usually take much of a block to keep woodchucks from going through your trap. This is it doesn't take much of a roadblock for the enemy to keep people from going through his trap. Some of the dumbest things will keep people from their salvation in Christ. Most of it coming back to pride. All right, let's go. For those of you wondering what I do with the caught woodchuck, sadly nothing, I don't have a use for them. There's not a market for them fur is not overly good on, but hey, if someone wants the fur, maybe I can make the time to skin them for them. But right now I don't have anything to do with them, so I usually feed the buzzards with them. Which is kind of sad. They'd make good dog food or cat food, but that takes a little bit of time. And I've been told, I've been told they taste good, but I've never actually eaten them. spell of rain and woodchucks don't move a whole lot when it's cold and rainy so I'll probably just leave them till then till after the rain or just about after the rain got one I have to add this one to the tally I'll keep you posted on how many I end up getting this year but that's pretty much all there is to trapping trapping woodchucks at least Sometimes asked what people can do to support the show. There's three simple things you can do. Number one and foremost is spread the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Spread it far and wide to all who will hear. Number two, watch the show, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. And number three, leave us a comment. Tell us how we're doing and Maybe suggest what we should be making episodes about. Until next time, God be with you.